I was born in La Rochelle in France on 15 September 1949. One of the things I enjoyed doing is to build sand castles with the wet sand near the sea, build those with my friends. I enjoyed the rugby because it was teamwork and I learned a lot on the rugby field to uh, not be afraid. My parents uh, forced me to play the piano, uh, especially my mother, and they said uh, you have to learn to play the piano. And I, I told them I really don't like uh, pl learning the piano. I, I much prefer playing tennis. And they said, no piano, no tennis. And I said, okay, I'll learn the piano. Yes. Yes. My father is the one that told me that I shall be a civil engineer. So I didn't choose civil engineering. My father was very uh, positive about, about America, the United States. He talked about Kennedy and I, and I listened, you know, at the time, the black and white television, uh, you would see Kennedy talk about, we will be in the moon by the end of the decade. Kennedy saying, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I thought that was pretty awesome. And I, and I, um, I thought, this is a country I want to be here. I went to a university in uh, Paris to get my bachelor's degree. I uh, applied uh, to go to do my master's degree and I was accepted at the University of New Brunswick. This is 1972. I'm at the airport in Charles de Gaulle in Paris and I'm saying goodbye to my parents. And I turn to my father and I say, you know, I'm going to a country where I know nobody and I don't speak the language. Do you have any good advice? He said, son, it's simple. The minute you get there, you find yourself a girlfriend, she will solve all your problems. And so I met Janet and she's been solving my problems ever since. I met Jean-Louis in New Brunswick at the University of New Brunswick in Fredericton. He played piano for our Christmas dinner. I sat next to him because I was proctor and he asked me if I, how for a date, he said. This weekend, he didn't ask me when or, and I felt sorry for him and said yes. We got married in Dalhousie, New Brunswick 45 years ago. I live in uh, College Station, Texas, and I uh, work at Texas A&M University. I came here in 1978. Here are some examples of pressure meters. Uh, my father is a rock. Um, he is somebody who is dependable and loving and caring and uh, really a wonderful person to have been raised by. I couldn't have asked for anybody better. We were a really loyal and tight family as uh, my sister and I were young, spending a lot of time together and not a lot of external people, uh, partly because we were just so much on the move with each of our tennis tournaments and, and other activities. My father sees his students as an extension of his family. You know, they're people that are coming from all over the world and that he gets to take care of, educate, and help them to be successful in the world just like he did with my brother and I. Well, around uh, 2006, Congressman Chet Edwards uh, came to Texas A&M and asked uh, a few of us to help uh, the country with uh, the uh, erosion of the cliffs of Normandy uh, because they were, they were eroding and some of the monuments, the historical monuments, were about to fall into the sea. I went there and found myself at the bottom of those cliffs that are 30 meter high and I said there's no way I can climb those cliffs let alone people shooting at me from the top. The 200 rangers, young people the age of my son at the time, who were ready to climb those cliffs and risk their lives 
essentially to come and deliver my parents. That was big. Forever grateful. You know, when you when you're president of ASCE, you have to realize that you're president for one year. And while you may have a, a bucket list of say 20 things, you, you cannot do that. You have to concentrate on the top three, let's say. And my top three are communication with members, uh, bringing the institutes and the regions closer together, develop, further develop their collaboration, and then one third of all 150,000 members of ASE are students, make a big difference in the student's transition rate. I really would like to change that percentage and increase it significantly. I think that my father will be a great president of ASCE. He will be passionate and driven to make it the absolute best organization possible. He will see members as being his part of his family, and if somebody needs something, he will do his best to accomplish it. Knowing that my dad will be the president of ASCE, I'm really proud uh, of him and excited for the association.